this handsome haul tree has a straightforward technique behind its bent legs. Bending wood isn't hard to do. It takes a little bit of time and a jig. A jig is just a form that allows you to apply pressure necessary to create bends in your laminated wood and to hold those bends in place until the glue dries. So, the jig makes the bend in the wood and the glue holds the bend in the wood. To make your own jig, you'll need these pieces. A melamine shelf board, a backer, angle blocks, a clamping block, and clamps. Using screws and glue, attach the backer along the edge of the melamine shelf. And according to the plan for the piece you're making, attach the two bending blocks to the face of the shelf. So when you're making multiples of the same piece, like we are for the hull tree, you should mark some reference lines so when you make your final cuts, all the pieces are the same. To bend wood with a jig like this, we need to use thin, flexible wood. I'm going to apply glue to both of these pieces and sandwich them together, or laminate them. When we do a laminating project like this, it's important to use a lot of glue because it, it becomes the structure of the leg. We want to apply these two pieces together and squeeze them so the glue bonds and kind of seeds. So I'm going to take the two pieces that I've glued together, lay it on a jig with the two ends touching the angle block. The wood is flexible enough that I can pull it back towards the backer with just my hand. Then put a clamping block in place and apply a clamp to the center of the block. Tighten slowly, add another clamp, tighten slowly, and then a third clamp right here. You can see the angle blocks are creating the bends at the end. Add a couple extra clamps along the length of the wood to ensure the glue is getting good contact. The glue squeeze is good because it means you're getting enough glue in there to hold the structure when it's laminated. Then let it all dry according to the glue manufacturer's recommendation. So remember, the jig creates the bend and the glue holds the bend. Well that's it. It's a pretty simple process and it gives you a lot of flexibility in building really unique projects.